As annuity income riders become increasingly more prevalent in retirement income planning, it is important that clients understand how the fee structure is applied to the account to avoid any issues. In order to cover the costs of income riders, many insurance carriers have turned to fee structures. What clients may not know is that the carrier's fees generated from the income rider could actually reduce the original principal account value. Fees can be calculated in a variety of ways. Many fee structures calculate the fee based on the income rider guaranteed growth rate. As the rider's income account accumulates at the predetermined amount, so does the fee regardless of the performance of the financial product. For example, let's say we have $100,000, an income rider rate of 7%, a fee of 0.95%, and let's assume a 0% rate of return on the base annuity. The income rider rate amount would compound each year at 7% until the income stream is turned on. The fee of 0.95% is calculated based on the increasing rider income account each year. This fee is then deducted from the accumulation value of the base contract. At a 0% return, we quickly see that the accumulation value is reduced to cover the cost of the fee. As illustrated, as the income account increases each year, the fee increases proportionately to the income rider rate each year. To ensure that this doesn't happen to you, ask your insurance professional about the balanced allocation annuity with the balanced allocation lifetime income rider. The charges within the balanced allocation annuity can be categorized as a spread instead of a fee because the charges are only deducted from earnings and never the principal. This means that if the return is 0%, there are no charges for that term. To see how this could work for you, request an illustration and call today.